a very good morning a very good afternoon and evening whichever time you're watching this video welcome and i really want to extend my warm greetings to you my viewer and i really want to say thank you also for sharing subscribing and always liking every content that we give you each and every day and today the program on air is the insight with jm keith i know in this program we're going to talk diverse things that affect our country or even the things that surround us the environment and what you love most and today we are going to tackle the topic about tourism and without so much ado thank you sir for joining us today thank you lovey for having me so why jm kit um why jm kit because yeah. that is me <laughs> that's me actually uh, my name is uh, joe uh -huh. or joseph Odami okay. kiriaka okay but I've known in the industry and especially in the tourism industry mm -hmm. as J.M. Keith. J.M. Keith. Yeah, which Wonderful. stands for J, Wonderful. for Joe, that Wonderful. M uh -huh. for Mudami, uh -huh. and Keith okay. as a shot of okay. Kiriaka. Awesome, awesome. Yes. So everybody who refers to when they look at you, they just know that that is J.M. Keith. J.M. Keith is what I'm referred to in the industry. Definitely. And therefore now, J.M. Keith, uh, the insight. Now we are looking now into the industry of tourism. What? surrounds or what encompasses tourism um thank you very much love you um tourism is one of the highest earning uh, uh, foreign exchange earnings for the country and especially kenya and so uh, when you look at the kind of different attractions we have in kenya mm -hmm. we have various attractions one is the beach okay and the beach is where you're talking about the coastal area coastal area could be malindi uh, Lamu, it could be uh, Malindi, Lamu, Kilifi, all the way to the south coast and also to the main Mombasa uh, island. So we have those beaches around that, the Indian Ocean beaches. And then we also have a new beach area, which is also the Lake Victoria area, which has now become an attraction for tourism. Uh, you'll find that in, the, in Kisumu and uh, Homa Bay and those counties around the lake uh, would be able to be referred as beach areas. We also have the Trukana area, where we have the Lake Trukana area, where we have the Trukana area, and they have beaches around the Lake uh, Trukana as a new uh, destination for, for beach, be, beach destination. And then the second thing that we have in Kenya, which is a very big attraction, and that's what brings a lot of foreigners to this country, is mainly is, is, is the wildlife. And wildlife is spread all over the country. We have uh, game reserves around the country, with our main game reserve being the Mara Game Reserve. Then we have other game reserves in Samburu, in, uh, in, uh, in Lake Nakuru, Lake, uh, Lake uh, Naivasha. We also have our national reserve in Nairobi, and also many other small reserves all around in different counties in this country. And then the other thing that we have is, uh, is, is, is the cultural uh, sites and also the geographical sites of this country, which are also capital, capitaled up with the, with the historic and, and the heritage, uh, historic and heritage uh, sites we have, which are all around the country. Like one of the heritage sites we have is the Fort Jesus in, in Mombasa, which is a very good site. And we have many others that are all over in different counties in the country. So those are the areas that would be attracting people to this country. We also have the area of, uh, of hospitality, uh -huh. which is a major thing about this country. We export a lot of hospitality students and especially hospitality staff to around the world. And so we are good in the hospitality in terms of training and also in terms of what we do as hospitality. It's a very hospitable country. And then we also have that conferencing, which has now been coupled up with, with hospitality. Okay. Because of our good hospitality, we have a lot of conferencing coming to the country. And in the, in the region, I think in East Africa, we're one of the best uh, uh, conference facilities in this country. They could be better, but I think uh, we are already up there and we should be improving a lot of them. Like we have the KICC and many other places that we go into Mombasa. You have conference facilities in Mombasa, some in Naivasha, and also in other counties, which is also growing as a serious investment uh, opportunity for people in this country. And then uh, lastly, what we have is, is, is the sports. Sports has become a major uh, attraction for this country. We, have, we are proud to say we have the best runners in the world, especially for the long, uh, uh, long distance runners. Sure. Uh, we also have also short distance runners who have now come up, uh, who are now running very, sh very serious uh, races. So you find we attract a lot of people who want to come and watch uh, the sports, uh, uh, athletics mainly. And we also have other sports facilities as golf. Golf has also become a very big time uh, issue in this country. We are able to, to, to host very big international uh, golf tournaments. 
Um, and so those are the things that would attract people into the sporting, interest, uh, sporting facilities in the country. Oh. We also have, uh, in addition to sporting activities, we also have uh, adventures. Uh, Kenya is known for very interesting adventure areas, like we have the Mount Kenya uh, uh, climbs, where people climb the Mount Kenya, the Mount Longanot. We also have uh, facilities of a lot of adventure and uh, with with uh, with, uh, with uh, zip lining and uh, just many many different activities that are possibly found in Kenya. So with that, you'll find that's what couples the attraction of people coming into the country as international tourists and also which I would like to encourage also our local industry or our local market to visit this place and especially in the low season. Thank you. Mr. Joe, now um, just in summary, what are the main points you can that can trickle down to identify or even describe tourism in um, summary? In summary, the main areas of tourism that you can be able to, to, to bring down is uh, we have beach and wildlife tourism we have cultural tourism which is also very good because of our cultural uh, diversity and also the, the different kind of uh, uh, tribes and, 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 and cultures they have and then we also have uh, sports tourism which is also a major thing and we also have eco tourism eco tourism is where we have a lot of things done in the econo eco ecosystem like for instance, wildlife is an ecosystem uh, tourism that is very attractive because people go and visit the animals as and where they stay. Okay, amazing, amazing. I believe you're getting, or oh, you are. there is a point that has been driven home. Please just don't sit there and watch us. Also comment and maybe state any other thing you feel that can be added into the tourism industry. Maybe at home there is a, a landscape that is not recognized that you really need to you really need it to be recognized in the Kenyan you know gazette or something like that comment down there and let us hear from you or from your side what you have to say and so now talking about the whole uh, idea of tourism I tend to believe that there are two or maybe more main actors in the tourism sector so are these the political people or there are some people who are the key stakeholders in the tourism industry what do you think they are? Um, when you say the stakeholders, what I'm imagining you're, you're asking is, is who are the main players? Yeah, the, the main, main players, players. In, in the tourism sector are, are the two operators and, and, and the travel agents. Uh, the travel agent is that person who organizes where you're going to travel to, where you're going to stay, how you're going to be picked, what's your transport, uh, what's your transport uh, arrangements and all that. Either you can do it locally or you can do it for international for international visitors. Okay. Then once you land here, uh, he hands you over to the tour operator who takes you through the tours that you're going around. So there's a travel agent who brings you to the country mm -hmm. and there's a tour operator who actually takes you around the mm -hmm. facilities and the attractions that you have paid for mm -hmm. or you intend to visit. And who about what about the tour guide? Who is that? The tour guide is the same person who's the tour operator. Oh, okay. Because the tour guide is actually employed by the tour operator. Mm -hmm. So a tour operator is the, is the organization that brings you in, that, that actually uh, receives you. And then once it receives you, it gives you, hands you over to a tour guide. Mm -hmm. So the tour guide is the one who, who, visit, who travels with you around and guides you on the various things you are, you're going to visit and explains to you the various things you want to know about tourism in the country. Okay.